Okay, let's make some parts. I'm going to do a demonstration end to end of how to do a uh, measure some delay times. Start with electric and simulate an LT spice. All right, first I want to start. Uh, I want a new lot. Oops, a new library. I'm going to call that new library. Um, delay sims. This library is open. I'm going to close it because I don't like that. Okay. Make a new cell. This is going to be called uh, INVX1. It's going to be a schematic. Okay. Here it is. Here's my schematic. It's open. I'm going to view my grid just because I like to see that. And then next is time to slap down our inverter. So here's a transit. Oh my goodness. So you see my scale here, or grid spacing. I'm going to set that back down to 1. Be careful when you get to 5. Uh, that's a recipe for trouble. Okay, you should be able to hear some clicking as I go. You'll hear that right about now. Okay, if you hear the click, that means they actually got connected. See how this is highlighted? That's very important gates are connected together. I need my reference here, ground node, and connect. Off-page connectors. Stick another off-page connector here and hook it up. And this one, that node is hooked up. Hooked up. Click on that. Control E for export. I'm going to call that A. It's a input. I always forget these, they're not too useful, but uh, pedantic is uh, not too bad for us. Oops. Everything keeps popping up on the other screen. Alright, export that node. It is out, so I'm going to use out as my output convention. Move that over so it's inside the box. I'm going to do 10 and 6 for my widths, transistor widths. There they are. Control S to save. Uh, I wasn't saved already. I've got an example here. Delay Sims, JE Lib. Save it right there. Okay, we're good. Uh, what's next? Okay, now we want to make an icon view. This is a different way. You can see the icon views up there. Let me go into the Explorer and open up the icon view itself. And do oops, do some uh, cleanup. See what I'm going to do? I'm going to actually give instead of artwork, go down to schematic, use this, and look at that. Isn't that neat? Uh, this is just a graphical component. So I go back to artwork, and I want a inverter circle. And I need to control I to look at these node properties. It's going to be one by one. And I'm going to apply that. You can see that circle is now there. Let's create my inversion circle. I want to move this one half grid over. Change my grid spacing to one half. Move it over. Change it back. You get to, things are dangerous when you get off of uh, one grid spacing. Uh, we can change our preferences right here if we uh, wish. All right, I think that's it. That's our icon. Come back to the schematic. You see it updated there, and uh, and we have that. Next up, I want to do a XOR gate. I'll save that, okay, because I'm paranoid. Let's make a new cell, new cell in delay sims. It's going to be oop, before that. I want to stick inside my icon. I want to know or remember that this is an X1. So Control I to look at my text. It's a really big, uh, big window. I want my anchor to be on the left side, and my text to be X1. I already know it's an inverter. You don't need to tell me that it's an inverter. Then we can see this here. I don't know if this text size is going to be all right, but we're okay. So save that. Make a new cell, XOR, uh, X1, and this is a schematic. 
Okay, so here's our schematic. I'm going to drop down two inverters. One and two. Those will be my inputs. I'm going to do a very classic uh, CMOS inverter. And if you work out the logic, uh, logic things for this, this is what we end up having. All right, so we have this and this. And go right there and right here. And we need our set of end mosses. See, I'm aligning everything on those uh, grid dots. It's just going to make it a little nicer. Okay, important is to get this all wired up right. Source the drain. Source the drain. Okay, go up, over, down. See how that little line there? That means they are connected. I'm going to go like this. Okay, connected. Connected. I'm using my middle mouse button to drag. Connect. And connect. Okay, and then hook those two together. Pull out the connector here. And let's draw our output. Okay, that's great. See how there's two line segments here? We'll uh, come back to that. Make an export. Out. It's output. And that's it. Uh, you'll see why I'm doing this in a second. Oops. Control Z. Make the keyboard thing. Oops. bunch of right clicking so I left click to select and then drag I'm also making sure that the I'm pulling items out on the gate so this is I'm going to double click name my nets this will be a I don't know if I can do this uh, B bar or not B of course not hey look at that uh, and this is uh, A bar. Okay, and then this is B. Apply. This is A and B and not A, not B. Okay, these are all my nodes here. Remember, I need my power supply. BDD node, I'll stick up here, draw the wire, stick my ground node there, lots of this noise. Oops, see how that one didn't make a noise? I didn't hear a noise there, so I'm going to draw that again. Hey, I heard the noise. This is uh, not A, this is not B. Now these are named, I don't need to draw the wires. Two off-page connectors, these will be my inputs of the gate itself. Click, click, and this will be exported as A, it's an input. This will be exported as B, it's an input. I'm not sure why I put those. Alright, I'm holding down shift. Click off, hold down shift, and shift. Is it shift? No, control. There we go. A is selected, B is selected, move them over. How's that look? That look good? So I'm going to hit F5 or Tools, DRC, check higher archic. Oh man, seven errors. Okay, all right, so I'm going to use left and right brackets. It says arc dangles. Arc dangles, what's up with that? You'll get this arc dangles if they if these nodes didn't actually get uh, uh, connected. So I'm going to delete them. 
hook it up five again see how I have fewer errors all right so fewer errors step through them uh, another dangly arc huh I did a bad job of hooking those together I'm gonna head this situation off okay Five again, down to three errors. Where are they? Oh, unnecessary pin. Ignore that. Unnecessary pin. Where's the unnecessary pin? What? Oh, this looks terrible. I think we have a wire hooking that to there. This is really bad. We really messed this up. So delete, delete. This is why we do checking. Okay. And okay five just one error and it says unnecessary pin between two arcs um, this happens if you remember I drew this and then I drew another wire this is one wire they can be combined together electric sometimes doesn't do that for us we can clean up this cell it's under the edit menu clean up pins and uh, you can see that it went away if I hit F5 no errors and no warnings that's wonderful, right? Control nine is a uh, zoom full. I feel a little whatever. Sneak those together, make this look uh, pretty. Oops. There. Still no errors and warnings. Save that. Now that I think my cell is okay, oh my goodness, I need to change my uh, transistor sizes. These are going to be 20, double width, because there's two in series, and my original was, was, whatever it was, 10. This was 6, now it's 12. Click off, double click, click on, okay. Save that, F5, still no errors or warnings. This is great. I'm an inverter. Now I want to uh, make an icon view of this. And if I look at my icon, it's kind of boring. Uh, but here we're going to do that trick again. We're going to go down to schematic, and we have an XOR gate right here. Uh, already. And I'm just going to use that to help me draw. So let's unselect that, please. Control, control. There we go. Look that out. Now you see how this is on a half grid and this is on a half grid. Now here's where we can. You know, that's what we got. This can be on a half grid. And it was the end. like that move it back so now all of our exports are on the same grid this really annoys me uh, but oh oh yeah I remember I remember I delete those See that? See that? Oh, a. Okay, I drew some more wires on this pin, which is the end of that. See how it's connected to here? It's not really useful, but. And that's B. So I made my exports again. They're named the same. That's a, a good thing. If I go back to my schematic, you can see I have a nice, beautiful uh, XOR gate there. There's our XOR gate and our. Uh, inverter. I'm going to stop here uh, so we can split this video up into a couple and see you on the other side when we start testing this.